There's a place I'll always cherish near the blue Atlantic skies Where the shores down in Cape Breton bids the golden sun to rise And the fragrance of the apple blossoms praise the dew kiss long Like a dear old Nova Scotia, a place where I... Hey guys, welcome back to All Outdoors Nova Scotia. I'm your host Robert. Well, today is Sunday the 23rd. Um, my last video for planting the garden was the 24th. Friday so uh, I'm going to uh, pick up from there because it rained we ended up having to go to town I forgot about an air and we had to run so we didn't get any more done on the garden than what you saw on that video um, and then it rained here Saturday so I didn't do anything but today is Sunday and we are officially done other than um, tomatoes and peppers which I can't put out yet um, the last the next full moon is uh, uh, June 10th, I believe. So after that, I'll be able to put the peppers out. But until then, I'm too worried about frost. Um, and I've got a really lot of peppers to put out, so I don't want to lose them. But anyway, I'll show you what we got done. Okay. First row, pumpkin squash. Cucumber. Cucumber. Corn corn peas peas and corn yellow bean yellow bean spinach this one is swiss chard this one is radish and onion that steak right there is the divider at half the length of the or width of the garden. This is beets. This row right here. <coughs> beets. Beets. And more beets. So it's four rows of beets. This row is parsnip. This row is carrot. This row is turnip. This row is turnip. This is the space I am leaving this year where I have so many extra peppers. I'm going to put the peppers, flies are bad, right in this section here. And then I'm going to use that new add-on section just for my tomatoes this year. And this, from this stake and this string to this end of the garden all the way is all potato. Every bit of it. Um, planted about six inches apart to take up the whole section. No rows, just every six inches I plant it. Um, that way it can create a good canopy to keep the weeds down in that section. Um, I could easily squeeze in three rows here for the peppers if I have to do that many. Um, probably only need two rows for the peppers, but we'll see. Um, but yeah. It's all done. I just have to, oh, and this section is all at it now. It's uh, sunflower seeds and the stupid birds have been at them, digging them up, I see. But that's, those are our sunflower seeds. So there'll be sunflowers there again this year as always. All we have to do now is water. Um, yeah. So that is it for this year. Um, I didn't get the strawberry bed done as I was hoping this year. I'm going to take where I put the manure eventually, level this all back out, put some poles all the way around it, and uh, fill it with full of dirt and put strawberries in here. Um, that's my plan. So that it'll be, the garden will carry on over to here. So then my rhubarb, which didn't do very well this year, as well as I was hoping. Sections did, like that one, it's not too bad. And then one down at the other end isn't too bad, but it's sparsy. Um, but we should get enough, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, enough by the end to for a pie. If not, I'll have to take what I have and then add some, buy some to, to make it out. But that's the length of the garden there. That's the view. I got the tomato cages over here ready to go. As soon as I did away with the planters, 
this year. I don't know if I told you, but I took those out, those pots that I had there. Things didn't grow well in them, so I took them out, um, got rid of them. And this year, when the oil, or when that barrel, my rain barrel right there, is empty, I'm going to put it here on this pallet. Just so it's off this section of the garden. That lets me get in here with the mower and mow these between the rhubarb again and get things tidied up again. But yeah, thanks for watching. And always, like always, if you like my videos, hit like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. Thanks. There's a place I'll always cherish near the blue Atlantic skies Where the shores down in Cape Breton bids the golden sun to rise And the fragrance of the apple blossoms praise the Duke is long Back in dear old Nova Scotia, a place where I'll